What is good internet? It is Spirit of Paradox here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about how I feel with the reveals of D23 for Marvel. So I'm going to be giving my overall thoughts and then I'm going to go into specific ones that, you know, I had issues with or the ones that I liked. So let's start off with the things that I liked. I really enjoyed the trailer for Secret Invasion and Werewolf by Night. Secret Invasion has pleasantly surprised me in what I was anticipating from what I was going to get in footage. Secret Invasion I thought was just going to be a series to give Marvel an excuse to make retcons, but no, this is actually going to be a spy thriller and it seems to look like it has the similar tone of Captain America The Winter Soldier. Captain America The Winter Soldier is one of my favourite MCU films and I would actually say it's one of the best MCU films ever made personally. But if we're going to be getting that type of tone, I definitely am down for it. The trailer was very good. Now we've got Werewolf by Night. I absolutely loved this trailer and oh my days, I've got way more than I was anticipating. With Werewolf by Night, I thought we was going to just get like a little, you know, horror comedy with just the guy and maybe a little few Moon Knight references. But there's so many other Marvel references in this, like, I was not expecting that, which, you know, I thought this was just going to be, you know, a little self-contained thing. And then we've also got the old school horror movie aesthetic, like they filmed it with actual um prosthetics and they've given the werewolf like the wolf man type of look from like the black and white movies and this whole thing seems to be shot in black and white as well and i absolutely am down for this for the halloween special marvel i think this one might be a banger we didn't get footage for these two but i am very excited for loki season two and captain america the new world order First, let's talk about Captain America. Me personally, I would definitely say Captain America The New World Order is going to be badass because we're going to be getting the leader played by Tim Blake, who was um, Samuel Stern in the Incredible Hulk movie in 2008. I absolutely love The Incredible Hulk and I know people do not like that film, and I've started to see people are starting to appreciate that film since we got She-Hulk anyway. And, um, you know, yeah, I've absolutely loved it. I remember going to see that movie and I got the toys, man. I got the Hulk with the boxing glove uh, police car and I got an abomination figure. And I also got the one with like the extended standing spine. But yeah, I got a lot of those Incredible Hulk movie figures, man. Even the glowy chest one too, but back to the point so to see samuel stearns or the leader make his re return as the leader yes i am very excited and obviously we're getting some characters from falcon and the winter soldier make a return so yeah definitely i am looking forward to this one loki season two yes so with loki you we all know how it ended with that massive cliffhanger they First open the multiverse and the timelines. I can't wait to see what comes next. I've been hearing we might see the Squadron Supreme. And we're going to see Kang in there as well. Fully excited. Can't wait to see it. I just wish we got to see some footage. But very excited for that. Now on to the mixed section. So there's only two. And that would be Black Panther and Daredevil. So with me and Black Panther, I am excited to see what they are going to do with the mantle and the world of Wakanda or the story with Wakanda. My thing is, I just don't know if they're going to be able to pull this off because unfortunately it's not their fault. It isn't um, the people who's making the movie's fault. You know, it's nobody's fault here, but there is a level of expectation that I can see that I don't think it's even possible to even meet now. You know, like I understand the main actor passed away and there's a lot of controversy going around behind set in it. So I do think it's it's on the middle ground. I don't know where to really land on it. So 
you know, we would just have to wait and see how this movie turns out and hopefully there ain't no issues and it's a fantastic movie. Daredevil Born Again is also one of the shows that I am looking forward to quite a lot but I do have my concerns with it being a reboot. Don't get it twisted, just because it's going to be a reboot it doesn't mean it's going to be bad. But the issue that I have with this information is that what made Devil Daredevil on the Netflix series special, not good, not great, but special, is the tone that we got with it that the MCU just never did and still hasn't managed to recapture because it was made by a separate team. But at this point, it just feels like to me Charlie Cox signed up to play Daredevil but not knowing what project he was going to be a part of and now when I saw him in that interview that looked like the moment where he found out as well that it's going to be a reboot you know so the, to me that just looked a bit stingy he looked like fuck they're going to mess this up or they're going to Disney fight it or whatever but for me what made Devil Daredevil good was the special was because of that fresh tone that we got and I just don't know if we're ever going to get that it, so for me it's on the mix section so let's get on to the disappointments Thunderbolts for me was probably the most disappointing part of the MCU reveals for me what disappointed me the most when it came down to this is I was expecting to see Zemo because I'm pretty sure he was one of the founding members of the Thunderbolts if not the founding member but him not being the leader of the team is a massive like why like why and then when I see in the middle of the team I see Yelena Belova and I'm just thinking there like Oh, uh, I see what you're trying to do, Marvel. I see what you're trying to do, Kevin Feige. No, this is Black Widow 2 and Friends. That's what this is. This is not Thunderbolts. You can't fool me, Marvel. I know you signed her up for contracts for her own movie, but you know she can't sell if you was to make it Black Widow 2. You know it ain't gonna sell, so what do you do? You put other characters in there. But not only do you put other characters in there. You put in the fuck ups in there as well. Like Taskmaster. So. Why there is no Zemo. Not found, founding the team. Bothersome. People are saying well. They haven't. Rev they might not have revealed the full team. That's probably got to be one of the dumbest things I have ever heard. Like, yo, guess what? We've got Thunderbolts the movie, but we're not going to reveal the full team. We'll fuck with it. Like, that's what they would do. They would be like, yo, here's half the team. We come back later to see who the rest are. They, ain't, they That's how they would do it. I'm seeing people make excuses for this. It's like, I don't want to go see Elena. I want to go see the Thunderbolts. Because that's what this really is. Think about it. Zemo has been in the MCU since Civil War and he has been pointed out to be a fantastic strategist, a master planner and somehow he wasn't the person to take charge of the team that I'm pretty sure he created in the comics. But we get Yelena Belova, the woman who's only been in this MCU for two projects. Uh, technically like a few minutes like you know in the dem ones this is a serious problem that i am having with the mcu it's you're changing so many things to the point where it's just like i'd rather just go read the comics now that's where i'm personally at and i'm telling you the comics right now are writing these characters better than in the actual MCU itself and that's where I'm coming to because Thunderbolts is a team that I'm you know it's one of those teams that I could just rely on if I want to go get 
like a, a, a relatively grounded and dark story. Not too dark, but I don't know. And then we've got the Taskmaster situation. Like, that isn't Taskmaster. MCU fans, I understand you've never read comics in your life, but you do need to understand the Marvel was around decades before either of us were even born. So if it's too hard for you to understand that there is love for characters that you don't know, what kind of fan are you then if you didn't even know that the who Taskmaster is? You see, it's like you're fans of the inspiration, but not fans of the foundation. But I'm losing track here. Taskmaster's changes is just like, it's not Taskmaster. Why, why call it something else? It's not Taskmaster. You've teethed the idea of Taskmaster, and you've did an inspiration of the Udon suit. But other than that, that is not Taskmaster. That's Taskmaster in name only. You know, remember that Godzilla 1998 movie? They call him Gino for Godzilla in name only, or Zilla. So I guess it's Tino for, ta for MCU Taskmaster. Taskmaster in name only. Yeah? But, <laughs> I don't know, man. And then there's the games. Um, the only thing that I know is going to be good is a Black Panther and Captain America game because Amy Hennig is working on it. Amy Hennig is one of the best veteran developers in the, the games industry, fam. And her writing is phenomenal, so I know that's going to be good. But I want to see more Spider-Man. I wanted to see, like, Wolverine, probably like a concept trailer for Wolverine. But maybe we might see a little trailer for Spider-Man. No, we didn't get any of that. We just got... Mainly Midnight Suns, which I think has been over promoted now. Like, very over promoted at, to the point where you're not going to sell it to anybody who doesn't want to play a card game. You pick the wrong genre. Like, I understand people like card games, but it's like, why do I need to go do this card stuff when I can just walk up on a couple of feet and box the enemy in the face? You know? <laughs> That's where I'm at, but. Yeah, if you're into that, you're into that. Then there was mainly just mobile games. It's like, yeah, that's nice and all. I do play mobile games every once in a while, like Candy Crush or Spider. Or Spider Solitaire, that type of game, you know, but... And a bit of Revolution. Then again, I haven't even passed the first mission on Marvel's Future Revolution. I just wanted to play as the Hulk and they didn't give me that option, so I picked Wanda. And I don't know what to really do after that. But overall, when it comes down to D23 as a whole, it was just meh. Like, I don't think they understood. Like, when you have your own event like this, this is the time when you come out with your heavy hitters. I would say Star Wars actually did better than Marvel. And that's saying some. Like, Lucasfilm did, did a bit better in hyping up the audience but for me there was just loads of mcu stuff that i was either pleasantly surprised about like things that i wasn't expecting to look as good as they did and the ones that i was expecting to be good were quite disappointing and overall we just got lackluster information shown so for me that's just my personal opinion on D23 this year. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What did you think of D23? Were you excited? Were you disappointed? You know what to do. Please drop a like if you enjoyed the video. It really does help. And subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.